Today marks two weeks since the deadly ambush outside Roxborough High School in which Elizalde was killed and four others were injured. I would, oops, excuse me. No worries. Eyewitness <laughs> News reporter Joe Holden is live in Roxborough with Meredith Elizalde's very serious message to the community. Joe. Well, good afternoon to you. 30 minutes out from the exact two week mark. And Nicholas Elizalde's mother and his grandmother stood shoulder to shoulder with state lawmakers and the superintendent for Philadelphia schools, saying, We are in a moment of crisis in the city of Philadelphia. I'm right here, and I will fight every day until I die. For my son. Meredith Elizaldi lost her 14 year old son Nick two weeks ago today. This grieving mother, a West Philadelphia school teacher, joined state lawmakers for the announcement Roxborough High is receiving $500,000 to install new cameras, to fortify door locks, and expand security measures. School officials conceded they could use more money. The deadly shooting that left four teens wounded shook the city. My son was special. And all I want to do is make him proud. But all of our kids are special. And I'm speaking as a mother, as a Philadelphia teacher, as an American. We are failing our kids. We are failing ourselves. And we have to do better. We're in a state of emergency. We're in a war. And no one has the luxury of riding the bench. I was the best mother that I knew how to be. I tucked my son in every night. The first thing I did when I woke up every morning was hug him. We ate our meals together. I told him I loved him all the time. But look at what we have let ourselves become. My son is not even the most recent child murdered in this city. Nick Elizaldi's grandmother also spoke. Marge LaRue condemned the amount and availability of firearms in this city. She questioned why it's seemingly only thoughts and prayers following the damage she says is caused by guns. Maybe leave your guns uh, at a shrine instead of a candle burning for an innocent life lost. Philadelphia police continue to look for as many as five shooters possibly involved in this and a getaway driver. You'll recall last week they very publicly issued information on a warrant out for arrest for murder. Police still looking for that individual, a 16-year-old. And, of course, over the next few hours, we will continue to work our sources for an update on where the investigation stands. That coverage coming your way at 5 and at 6. For now, we're live in Roxborough. This is Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.